Virgos. Hi, Virgo. Happy Sunday. Let's just go ahead and jump into it, Virgo. I feel like I'm getting a little bit of a cold, so bear with me, okay? The general, not personal. Take what resonates, leave what does not. But I really think I'm getting a cold, and this does not, it's not a good thing. I don't want a cold. All right, so first things first. Okay. Okay, so Virgo, it kind of feels like you are resting. You're healing. You could be getting lots of sleep. Virgo could be going to bed early. And you are doing that because there is a situation that has been stressful to you. Or there's something that has caused you to feel like you don't know what to do or how to move forward. Or I don't know, maybe at one point you felt overwhelmed. But now it kind of feels like you're releasing yourself from that Virgo. It feels like you are resting. Yeah, it feels like you're resting, you're recovering, Virgo. Yeah, so in a way there's like this healing energy because maybe you weren't feeling well or maybe Virgo there could have been something where you had to focus on you or it could have been a situation in which there was some distance because someone here wouldn't take accountability so in a way it's like you're healing from all of it yes Virgo there's like this healing and there's this moving forward energy the nine of swords yes so there could have been some anxiety about a situation and it looks like it was keeping you stuck, Virgo. Yeah, it looks like, I don't know, it was making you feel like you couldn't move forward, but it just feels like not anymore. To be honest with you, I don't know if someone was trying to make it so that things couldn't move forward for you, so that things couldn't work out, but it almost feels like there is a situation that has ended up repeating itself, right? And so it just kind of feels like in a way you could be exhausted, you could be tired when you're not focused on this. In a way, it's like, Despite it all, you're still not losing any rest at this point. I don't know. Maybe you are sleeping a lot because you're stressed or sleeping a lot because you don't know what to do or because you feel overwhelmed. But again, like I said, it just kind of feels like with this Wheel of Fortune energy, there's something here that hasn't changed or something here that hasn't really moved or, or gone the way that you like. Yeah, it seems like. I don't know, you're healing, resting, lots of swords energy. So there could have been something going on with communication at one point, Virgo. Yeah, there could have been like some sort of communication issue, some sort of communication problem, only because it kind of feels like, yeah, you know, with this eight of swords, nine of swords, four of swords, all swords. So there could have been something that wasn't discussed or wasn't talked about wasn't really communicated and I'm not sure if that was stressing you out or I don't know in terms of being able to move forward it's like you may have felt that something wasn't going to go right or a situation could have been giving you anxiety there could have been some sort of fear that you had that things were going to go wrong or things weren't going to benefit you but Virgo I don't think that that's true I'm not saying that you know you haven't gone through anything because of course you have um, we all have. However, uh, Virgo Spirit is asking you to not allow this situation to stress you out. There is pretty much this energy of like everything falling into place. Everything moving forward, Virgo. I really feel like I'm getting a cold. That's crazy. Um, but everything moving forward. Yeah, you have support. You have help coming in, Virgo. So I don't know. It's like I feel like, I'm not going to say it's all in your head, but I feel like maybe you're doing a lot of overthinking or a lot of overanalyzing, Virgo, because in actuality, it feels like things are moving forward. It's like you're getting exactly what you want, exactly what you hoped for, what you prayed for, and things are working to your advantage. It's like there's this support coming in. There could have been some sort of conflict that ends up getting resolved, Virgo, but I definitely see this energy of support. Uh, I definitely see that, yeah, there's people that's like advocating or helping you. Could be vice versa. But there's something here. Everything does go as planned, Virgo. Things do go the way that you expect them to. Maybe even better. Again, like I said, you have this fear of things not working out because of the past. Or you have some fear that things are not going to benefit you. But in actuality, I, I, I feel like they're going to. Because I don't know. I feel like it's two different sides. I feel like on one hand, you feel like it's not going to work. But in actuality, it's like everything over here seems to be good so the queen of pentacles 
Yes, definitely indicates that. Like I said, Virgo, you're very balanced, very abundant. Things working out for you. So I don't know. It's just like there's a situation that you're dealing with that low key feels stressful because it almost feels like, like I said, either this has happened before or you feel like things are going to be the same. But in actuality, it feels like things are not going to be the same. They are going to be much different. So in a way, it's like Spirit is asking you to remain optimistic, Virgo. Because again, like I said, it most certainly feels like you're accomplished. Baby, every card I pull is amazing. I'm trying to tell you. I don't know what's causing this fear. I don't know what's causing this worry, Virgo. This up and down, this back and forth energy where it almost makes you feel like you can't move forward or things aren't going to benefit you or work for you. But it's absolutely false because you have this high within so you're going through a spiritual transformation. Mm -hmm. And so and the only thing is in going through this transformation, what I can say is that I don't know who over here like wanted something to turn out bad for you, Virgo. But this doesn't end up turning out bad at all. This actually ends up being a very good thing. Yes, you have the high within. Yes, it definitely indicates that there is this energy of you moving forward. You going through this transformation. You could be doing something new very soon, Virgo. Okay, yes, you most certainly could, but it feels like things are changing for the better. So it's almost like someone here wanted you to feel stuck or wanted to put you in this predicament where you felt stressed, where you felt overwhelmed. But I'm telling you, it doesn't go that way at all. So... I don't know, like I said, it just feels like a really good energy despite what others may have wanted or what they predicted or how they thought it was going to be. Because again, like I said, it just feels like it's 10 times better than that. Yeah, it just feels like it doesn't go like that. It does not move like that. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. So there's a transformation that's occurring. Yes, there's a transformation that's happening, Virgo. And so with this transformation, there may be certain things that you decide that you no longer want to do. You know, that you no longer want to put your energy and time into. You may feel that you've done some of these things and they haven't worked. So it's like you may find yourself just shifting energies altogether. Or you may find that like, you know, some of the things that you were once comfortable with and once putting your energy into, you could have been like, I think I'd rather do something else. Or I think I'd rather go in a new path or go in a new direction. And you can. And you should. Again, like I said, it's like you could be, because like I said, it's like you, you could be re-energizing, Virgo. Like, like getting lots of rest. Okay, I don't know. That's what I'm getting. You may need lots of rest, but that's what I'm getting. This energy of resting. Yes, this energy of recharging, Virgo, is what it looks like. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's what I'm getting for sure. So it just kind of feels like in regards to moving forward, Virgo, you, I feel like, are most certainly on the right path. It just feels like you are maybe anxious or worried but I don't necessarily know if that's your energy more so it feels like it's based off the energies around you so that you feel like things are not working for you so that you feel that you have bad luck but in actuality Virgo things move forward very quickly yes in actuality things change tremendously Okay, and so it just feels like with this change, you are able to truly focus on yourself. It feels like with this change, you have a lot of support, a lot of help coming in. Mm -hmm. And things may be changing very quickly or things may be happening at the last minute. And again, like I said, go with the flow. Okay, because it does feel like it's good. Any more advice? Could be paying your bills, Virgo. Like I said, it's really something that you're worried about and you have no reason to worry. You have no reason to be nervous about this. It's going to be a good thing. You are the emperor. You are the boss. You are in charge, Virgo. And however you want this to be is the way that it'll go. However you want this to turn out is the way that it will turn out totally up to you. You are in charge. You're making things happen, Virgo. So... Baby, it's all about taking action. I know that's right. I know that's right, Virgo. So it's like you're in this leadership position and you may not realize it. It's like you have this fear of things not working out or things not going. But it's like you have all of this power. I see you moving forward, Virgo. Very much in control of like your finances, your your money. Could definitely have a new job coming in. Or like I said, there is something else that you were going to be doing. It seems like there are some ideas that you have. Some ideas that come to mind because it almost feels like you're bored. 
Yeah, it feels like you're bored, unsatisfied with the options, with the things that have been presented to you, okay? And so there's going to be a new way of doing something or a new way of moving forward. Again, like I said, it just most certainly feels like, yes, there's this move or there's this change that's coming towards you. And I just feel like you shouldn't sign up for any, like, um... I don't know. Like, I just wouldn't sign any contracts right now, Virgo, because it kind of feels like what you're doing, you don't really need this paperwork or what you're doing. I don't know. It's like this this contract or whatever it doesn't really seem to benefit you, okay? But yeah, Virgo, it's just like you're most certainly moving forward. You don't have to settle at all. Do not settle. Yes, you know exactly what you want. You know, you know exactly how you're wanting to move forward, what's going to work for you and what's not. So over the course of the next couple of days, you may find yourself going from being stressed to feeling very much in control, to feeling very much in charge. Now, it only like the only thing is, I don't know who you've been talking to, Virgo, or what's been going on, but it almost feels like you're going to be setting stronger boundaries. I don't know exactly who said what, Virgo, or what has you in your head, but it's almost like there could be this energy of someone like doing things or saying things that's kind of causing you to do some overthinking. And for some of you, it could make you feel like, you know, if you reversed that energy or gave it back to them, they wouldn't be able to handle it. So you may actually find yourself like removing yourself from certain people. You may find yourself not really wanting to talk. And it's nothing wrong with that. Like you may just be keeping your distance and your own world because whatever is being said or whatever is being discussed, it just has you doing a lot of thinking. It has you doing a lot of analyzing. And again, like I said, when it comes to that communication and moving forward, it feels like you are going to be doing things a lot differently. Yes, it feels like with that world energy, yes, you are going to be moving forward. You're getting everything that you need or, or spirit is giving you everything that you need, but it just feels like it's a new Virgo and it's a new version of you and so Virgo it seems like this new version of you is actually a very healing one uh, but it feels like spirit is asking you to remain more confident to remain more like um, optimistic about yourself because it's like you have this worry here but in actuality there's no need to worry so you could just be doing a lot of overthinking or you could have a lot of responsibility on you and that could be creating this tension this bit of a like stressful energy as well but again like i said baby it most certainly feels like because it's like you feel like the wheel of fortune you feel like something's going to be the exact same way there's going to be no change you feel like nothing's going to like move or grow or go in the way that you desire but that's false because it looks like you're taking action you are going through this spiritual transformation that just causes your whole perception to change it causes you to look at everything differently and so because you're going through an, an, a transformation that could be causing those around you to do the exact same thing and so because you're going through that transformation that's why this four cups is here because the things that used to do it and the things that used to work virgo is just not doing it anymore and i feel like that's what happens when you transform. That's the whole point of the transformation, which, again, is why you're on the right path. Because if you were just comfortable with things and you never felt the need to change, you wouldn't have the Four of Cups. You wouldn't have the Hierophant. You wouldn't have that uncomfortable energy. But you have that uncomfortable energy because you are feeling different. Because you are ready to move forward. You are ready to make these changes, and you should. You know what I mean? I just feel like don't stress. You have the world energy, Virgo, so you're literally getting everything that you need to move forward. I'm not sure if you felt that you couldn't at one point. Not sure if there was this up and down energy, Virgo, but you're literally getting everything that you need. So continue to move forward and continue to trust in yourself because the divine is on your side. Okay, you may be questioning and wondering, like, why me? Maybe feeling the need to hold back. But Virgo, I'm telling you, things are going to change. So I feel like more than anything, remain optimistic. Remain in control of what you feel, of what's going to work for you, okay? And you definitely have some money coming towards you, Virgo. Okay, you've been getting that for, like, the past two days. So there's some coins here. There's some money here, Okay. But it just feels like, you know, you're moving forward. And you may not want to be bothered with certain energies or certain people, and that's okay. And that's all right. I feel like go where you're comfortable or stay where you're comfortable. Move to what's going to make you comfortable. Move to what's going to make you feel good. And when I say comfortable, I don't mean like 
you know, complacent. I just mean overall the energy feels peaceful. You know, it doesn't feel stressful. It doesn't feel like you had to defend yourself or like, you know, people are not being original around you or, you know, you just want that authentic energy. So go where that is. And if you feel like that's with no one right now, then show by yourself. Just use spirit and the people in your household, okay? All right. But with that being said, Virgo, thank you for your support. You can follow me on Instagram at S-H-E-S underscore A-S-H underscore R-I-C-H. And there's also a membership over here that you can sign up to if you are wanting more videos when I do not post on this side. Okay? But thank you for rocking with a girl like me. May God bless.